exercise to isolate the lower trapezius. The lower trapezius is a muscle that is often weak in climbers and associated with uh, rotator cuff dysfunction. It attaches to the scapula and it helps to aid in upward rotation of the scapula which creates space for the rotator cuff and prevents jamming of the rotator cuff into the bony ceiling of the acromion. To isolate the lower trapezius, you can use a Swiss ball and the resistance of your own body weight. To isolate this muscle, you'll lie over the ball, making the middle portion between your shoulder blades the highest part on the ball. To isolate the muscle further, you'll raise your arms up to about 120 degrees of shoulder flexion. The focus of this exercise is to move and stabilize the scapula. So you're going to raise your arms up, elevating the scapula, and feeling for when the scapula stops moving. When you feel your scapula stop moving, you're going to hold for three to five seconds, lowering down to the ground. When you repeat the motion, elevate the scapula, and this time, rotate the humerus out, turning the palms up towards the ceiling. This will further help to isolate this muscle as you elevate the arm. Again, the focus of this exercise is to strengthen a scapular stabilizer and mobilizer. So you don't want to over elevate the hands, which could cause jamming at the rotator cuff, which is what we're trying to prevent through this exercise. This is an exercise for endurance, control, and coordination. So you want to keep the resistance low, especially if you have shoulder pain currently. I would recommend that you start with no resistance and then slowly add light resistance, like a two pound hand weight, a can of soup, or a water bottle. If you're a healthy climber without shoulder pain and you're just looking to do prevention, I wouldn't go any higher than five pounds, focusing on low load, high repetitions. Anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions will do, and two sets is enough.